Uh, okay, uh, today we are doing uh, experiment uh, number seven, which is the um, buck chopper, which is uh, DC to DC, and buck is step down. Okay, this is the circuit. Um, I'm going to turn on first. I have to turn on the power supply. I have to give 24 volts for the chopper, most of chopper. And I have to turn on this, uh, this uh, the current for the chopper and vertical control uh, unit. This is the, the circuit, so uh, we come from the source, which is DC variable, so we can choose the, the percentage. And then we come to the smoothing inductor, we choose smoothing inductor instead of the normal inductor, because it's huge, it can store a huge amount of current. And then we come to the MOSFET transistor, okay, this is the MOSFET right here. You can see that there's a, like a L flipped, so make sure that this is the transistor, which is the gate and the drain and source. So we come to the transistor, the current will, will come here, and this will work as the transistor, the MOSFET transistor will work as, as a switch on and off. And we decide for how long it will be on and off with the duty cycle. Okay, the duty cycle either we give it 50%, 40%, 20%, 70%, and so on. And then, um, we have to turn on the here, this transistor is actually is not connected here. Don't mix up. This is grounded. Okay, this is grounded. But we will use the uh, this diode, which is diode number four, as a free winning diode. Okay, there's a diode right here across the um, the transistor, the MOSFET. Why we use it? This is for protection. Uh, the, the MOSFET, the transistor, when it's on and off, when it's off. There is a voltage, high voltage, so we have to have a, a, a power diode across to release, so not to damage the transistor. So it comes from here, from the source, 7N. And we having this for a purpose because we're going to show you this next circuit. And uh, each coil right here is point, uh, 0.4, 0 0.4, so we add both to have 0.8. Then we come to the transistor right here, transistor number one. And then we go out from the transistor, which is this here, to the AC uh, emitter. Then from the AC emitter to the uh, current isolator, from the current isolator to the load. This is the load right here, the resistor and the inductor. You see this, right? Same thing, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. If I want to have 0.2, which is in boost, I connect those in parallel, but now, those are connected in series okay this is across both all the time i'm telling you not to touch this when you measure the voltage across because if you if you put this one here it means you're not uh, measuring the, the the resistive you're measuring only the inductive you, if you put this wire right here for the voltmeter at this point you are measuring only the resistive you're not measuring the inductive but if you measure all means you are, you are if, you, if you put it right here and right here means you're not touching this wire you are measuring the whole output which is resistive and inductive which is here that's the volt the dc voltage and across the dc voltage is the voltage isolator this is the unit the control unit chopper or an inverter control unit the white wire right here is for the duty cycle so we play with the duty cycle if it's if the dot right here is 50 percent this is 25 percent this is 75 percent roughly approximately but we can see it from there and this knob right here is for the frequency okay to change the voltage the output voltage we play with the duty cycle and to fix the current to make it straight uh, do you see we we'll play with the frequency if we increase the frequency you're gonna see it on the scope. let's see here now we turn on, we're going to give it 80% for example, 80%, which is, it should be in 7N, okay, that's right, 7N, okay, uh, 80% is, let's make it 100%, mm, no, it's not, okay, so 80%, 80%, no problem. Uh, we can see nothing right here, because I think, okay. Oh yeah, it has to be, we have to work, uh, we have to choose pulse width modulation, otherwise you're not gonna, we will see nothing. This is the technique, 
uh, to uh, that we use here with, uh, with the MOSFET transistor to play with it to make it on and off cross with modulation. What was what I was explaining is the process that if I do it manually with hand, 50.5 for example, uh, duty cycle, 50% of the duty cycle, which is if the cycle is six seconds, it will be closed for three seconds. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. If it's 75%, um, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. That's a 50 cycle. That's manually. We can, we're not going to be able to close the transistor, the MOSFET manually, so we use something called pulse width modulation, PWM, that's the technique. So I'm going to choose it right here, I'm going to press, now I choose it. So now everything changes, you can see here, this is the source, I'll make the source 100, 100 volt, so that's my 100 volt, that's my source. You can see here, that's the output, it depends on the duty cycle. If I choose 50% of the duty cycle, I can see it from here. That's my duty cycle here, two boxes. That's duty cycle here. See the duty cycle is two boxes on, two boxes off. The blue is the voltage, two boxes on, two off. That's 50%. Look at the voltage here. That's my voltage, approximately 50, which is half. You're not gonna have, exactly. you will not have exactly have, you will have less, for example. If you have a, a it's, this is a buck means you step down. So you cannot have, uh, you have from 95% to 5%. That's the range. Uh, that's the duty cycle right here. I mean, that's the duty cycle. I can choose, for example, 75. Look at right here. Come here. This is 75. So four, three boxes on, three boxes on, one, two, three, and one box off. That's 75%. The duty cycle, I mean the frequency, the frequency, the frequency here, look at the frequency, if I increase the frequency, I'm not, I, the duty cycle is still the same, 75%. And look at the voltage, it's not changing. It's, it's, changing with the, it's changing with the duty cycle. When I increase the duty cycle, the voltage change. So that's the maximum that I get. This is the source. V source, this is V out. And we know the equation is V out times duty cycle. That's the maximum that I can get. And the minimum that I can get is this. It's not zero, it's around 10. Because the, the MOSFET has to be on and off. It has to be on and off. Let's, let, let's look at the duty cycle. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it 50% now. That's 50%. I'm gonna put this now. Uh, the minimum of the frequency and the duty cycle is 50% here. Let me increase the frequency and we'll see the, is the, if there is any change in the voltage. Okay, show the voltage right here. It's still like 50, no change. I mean, let me increase now the duty cycle. Let me increase the duty cycle here. Now I will increase the duty cycle here. See here, I increase the duty cycle. Okay. Come back to the voltage here. See the voltage, no change, still the same. No change in the voltage. Well, look at the current. Look at the current. The current is straight now, smooth. The current is smooth. Current is smooth, see here now, minimum uh, duty cycle, increase the duty cycle, voltage is the same, but the frequency is straight. So that's what we can, uh, the, the difference between increasing the duty cycle and increasing the frequency. Increasing the frequency means making the current straight smooth, make the ripple is less, see here with less, with less frequency, there is a ripple, so it goes down increase you can see that there is a ripple but with increasing the duty cycle that's i will increase the duty cycle look at the voltage i will increase the voltage and current voltage and current will increase so here voltage and current is increasing okay so uh okay this is here this is the resistor you're gonna choose the resistor i don't know which is the maybe 60 something or 57 uh yeah that's this one here we explained last time which is to, uh, to actually control the chopper by the unit. So there is nine pins here uh, to control one, two, three, four, five, six holes, seven, eight, nine, nine holes. And um, that's it. So this is the duty cycle. And this is the frequency. Uh, there is another circuit, circuit, which is uh, this next one. Is this one here is the same, but they want you to add a, a DC meter right here. So I will turn off.
I will turn off. I will cut this and I will insert another meter. Okay, and I will bring it back. Okay, it shows the opposite. So if I will plug this meter. Okay. okay, now I have both meters. So say this circuit right here. This emitter right, right here will give me the amount of current before the transistor, which is uh, I source, and this amount of current will give me the um, will give me the current after this after the transistor, which is the I out, which is goes to the load. With this case, you have the source voltage, which is this hundred, and you have the current. So now you can find the power input, multiply this voltage times this current, and now you have also the V out, which is this amount times this amount of uh, current now you can find the v out so you take the v out divided by the or take the p out divided by the pn you will find the efficiency and this is for the, for that question i think which is this question right here in the experiment they want you to play with the duty cycle till you make this one 400 okay and then when it's 400 you stop there and you do the calculation for the power input and the power output. You have all inputs, uh, V, v source, I source, V out, I out, so you can find P out and P in, and then you do that, you find the efficiency. The, you should get like around 98, 97, 99% for the efficiency. If you have uh, way less, means you have an issue. Okay. This is the experiment for the buck. Um, for the boost, it will be the same. And, uh, but we will play with the uh, with the connection right here. We'll do it next time. Means we will use instead of this transistor, we will use this transistor right here, which is transistor four, and we will use the diode one for as a freewheeling, and we will flip the the place for the um, for the coil for the indu smoothing inductor. It will be somewhere else. This will do it later. But this is the buck, which is DC to DC buck. Means buck is step down. You step down the bolt, the DC bolt. This is similar to transformer in AC machines. AC machines, you step down the bolt, AC to AC to AC. You step up and step up and step down and up. That's the transformer. Buck and boost, same thing. They step down, the buck step down, and the boost step up. The DC, so the buck and boost, they are similar to the transformer in AC machines. Thank you.